the head wound and thing. I want to circle back to this this issue of persons appearing before counsel. Um, I am uncomfortable. I, I'm not legal counsel, so I don't know what the vice mayor's authority is in this regard. I'm not commenting on that, but it is disturbing to me that we have an individual that appears four times in a year, and I understand, vice mayor, that you only approved the last one, but your explanation was that it was. Um, he was talking on issues that were community issues and he gave charter review, or I'm sorry, charter amendments as your example, but that is not the title of what he spoke at, spoke regarding the last meeting. It was transparency and love on politics, which to me it's a little difficult and I think dangerous to just look at a title of what someone's going to speak about and make a snap decision as to whether or not you're going to give that person the 10 minutes. Uh, but that title is pretty obvious what it was going to be about and it did not disappoint it had very little to do with um, the business of the city and really was nothing more than a a campaign speech um, negative campaign speech about certain people so i just am concerned about that um about and i truly have no idea and i apologize i don't remember what miss hamlin's what the title what she wanted to speak about was but I don't know. I guess I just would, would urge caution, especially in the meeting following the one where that was allowed. It would seem to me that some uh, leeway would be given when one individual asked to speak and uh, to be put on the agenda. Well, I do have the authority to, um, as a presiding officer, to do the agenda and to make those decisions. Um, so I exercise my authority to do it.